Hello, and welcome to Pendulum Dowsing and Tarot Reading with Lyman Holton. So you're here for your daily tarot reading. To make things go a little faster for you, I want you to know that you can just glide your cursor along the timeline at the bottom of this screen, and when you see the name of your zodiac sign pop up, that's where your tarot reading for today is. So, let's see what's in store for you. Without further ado, let's get started. Are you ready? Welcome, Aries. Well, here we go for the daily reading. Get the cards on, on mark here. All right, there's the crystal. Fold up the cloth that keeps the cards nice and dust free. Protects them with the crystal. Okay, we'll do a little shuffling here. I've already done quite a bit of shuffling. So we're just going to make sure we've got Aries embedded in the cards. All right. One card. Ace of Wands. Now this card represents signals of a creative beginning. The birth of an idea. Perhaps you're going to get a raise or a promotion, maybe even a new job. Now it's a one day reading, so perhaps it's the first step toward that occurring, but it's the right step. The start of a new, could be an enterprise. New challenges come about associated with this ace or boundless energy. Fiery enthusiasm, optimism, and Exhilaration, it's a signal to proceed with whatever has sparked your interest and excitement. And that's what you want to have on your mind as you go through the day. Aries, this looks like a very promising day for you. And that's all I've got for you today. Hello, Taurus. Thank you for stopping by for your reading. Let's see what the tarot cards are going to show today. Okay, so we have Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. <clears throat> One card draw. We've got the Seven of Pentacles. Now it's time to take stock, evaluate your achievements and trust that the projects you've set in motion can now move forward under their own momentum. You may be tempted to rest on your laurels for a while, but the pause won't last long. You're gonna push procrastination out of the way. Your inspiration urges you on through honest appraisals of your needs and desires. You attune yourself to deeper levels of awareness and take your cues from synchronicities, hunches, impulses, so you're going to have some gut feeling involved here, right? Use your intuition. It's going to work for you. You've got a good day coming, Taurus. And that's all I've got for you today. Hi, Gemini. Let's see what's in store for you. So a little more shuffling on the tarot cards. We've got Gemini, Gemini, Gemini embedded in the cards. All right, we have a one card draw. And that card is temperance. So what I see here is tranquility comes to you through your ability to maintain harmony and balance by the successful blending of opposites, right? So you've got some things kind of a mixed bag here, but you're gonna weave them together. You're gonna take some lemons and make lemonade. I guess you could look at it that way. You're learning to temper justice with compassion, success with failure, joy with sorrow, things of that nature. Moderation in all things is required. Compromise and tolerance for opinions differ from your own take you along the way. Or I should say opinions that are different from your own take you along the way. This doesn't mean you must surrender yourself to someone else's agenda, but it does mean that you need to listen and 
find out if there's some good in what's being said or done and get that to work with you. So we're kind of stepping into the world of compromise, I would say. And that's what's going to be up for you, Gemini. That's all I've got for today. Have a great day. Welcome to your daily tarot reading, Cancer. Let's see what tarot can do for the upcoming day for Cancer. All right. Get, get Cancer embedded in the cards here. All right. One card up. And we've got the Hierophant. What I see here is that you come up against the powers that be. Now, this could involve religion, corporate, could be family. This clash of belief systems helps you clarify your own position. Now, you could be talking to someone who is a counselor, pastor, teacher, a parent, and offers orthodox advice or guidance that drives you crazy. Ultimately, you make your own decision and find a way to incorporate your ideas into the existing structure. So you're going to be listening to others who you may not really appreciate what they have to say, but you're going to go your own way and you're going to make it work. So Cancer, you have a good day. I see a good day coming for you and that's all I have. Hello, Leo. I'm glad you stopped by. Let's see what your daily tarot reading is going to look like here. Okay, embedding Leo, Leo, Leo into the cards. Okay, Leo, Leo, Leo. Okay, good random shuffle. Okay, what we have here is the Hermit card. This card speaks to a period of solitude you've been in is nearing completion. So you're going to open up, tie up loose ends, finish projects, and plan ahead for the next phase. You may attend workshops or lectures, something like that. Maybe even take courses that help you achieve your goals. This can include returning to school, enrolling in some sort of classes, uh, it could even be a graduate class, something like that. So keep that in mind that this is a good time for you to be able to move ahead and move ahead correctly in the right direction. Keep that in mind as you go through the day, Leo. See how that works for you. And that's all I've got for you today. Welcome, Virgo. We're all ready to get through this tarot reading for your daily reading. Okay, doing some shuffling here. Make sure we've got Virgo embedded in the cards. So I got Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. All right, Virgo. There we've got Temperance. Hmm, Temperance again today. I guess it's a good day for temperance. Now this card tells us about tranquility. It comes to you through your ability to maintain harmony and balance by the successful blending of opposites. You're learning to temper justice and compassion, S success with failure, joy with sorrow. Moderation in all things is required. Compromise and tolerance of opinions different from your own take you along this way. This doesn't mean you must surrender yourself to someone else's agenda. It simply means that you're going to be more acceptable of what others think and say, and you're going to use that to your advantage. You're going to be doing some compromising, which may end up actually benefiting you, putting you ahead of the game. All right, Virgo, that's all I've got for you today. Hi, Libra. Let's see what the tarot cards have in store for you. The daily reading, the day coming up. Let's see. Okay, so we got Libra, Libra, Libra here. 
Libra, Libra, Libra. All right, one card draw. <clears throat> and we're looking at the Eight of Pentacles. The focus here is on education. We're talking things like workshops, lectures. You could attend to hone your skills. You could actually enroll in some kind of full-time programs if you so wish. You can turn a talent, a hobby, or interest into a new career. You're really looking at developing yourself, right? Developing yourself. You're an apprentice now, perhaps, right? And love every second of it, but by moving forward, as the card suggests, in the appropriate manner, you're gonna be a master if you aren't already. Something to look at, Libra. All right, that's all I have for you today. Welcome, Scorpio. And we have your tarot daily reading right here in my hands. It's being formulated as I shuffle the cards. And Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio is embedded in the cards now. So let's see how this is going to come for you. Ah, the card Justice. This card speaks to legal problems that may wane. A judgment is in your favor. However, your daily life activities may be suspended until a judgment is reached. What you waited for materializes. Conflicts are resolved. Harmony reigns. You get what you believe you deserve and experience the world as an echo of your own thoughts and actions. When you deal fairly with others in good conscience, you receive a fair deal in return. So keep that in mind. So it looks like this would be a day where you may have some sort of a legal situation going on. If it's not illegal, it could just be some sort of a deal you have going with a friend or a neighbor. But fairness, fairness is really important. And by being fair, that's going to come back and show you fairness as well. Great card. Great day for you, Scorpio. Enjoy it. And that's all I've got for you for today. Hi, Sagittarius. I'm glad you stopped by for your daily reading. And let's see what we have for Sagittarius. A little more shuffling. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Okay, here we go. Get a little shuffling of the cards here. Get that random card to come out. All right, we've got the chariot. Now this card speaks to a, a journey. It could be a spiritual journey of self-discovery. Could even be an actual trip. Maybe one you take by car. Either way, you're in the driver's seat and that's what's important. And you create your own destiny through your actions. Now it's possible that this could involve you getting a new car for the trip. If it is a physical trip, you may move to another house or apartment. It's a good time if you want to do that to seriously consider it, to get the ball rolling in that direction. After all, this is a one day reading, but you've got to take the first step to go someplace, right? And probably you'd end up living in the same area where you live now. Hmm. Think about that. Think about that. Is this something that you want to consider moving? Hmm. Maybe it is. Maybe it's just a good day to ponder that idea. And that's all I've got for you, Sagittarius. Hello, Capricorn. What are we going to see in the cards for you today? Your daily reading with the tarot cards. Let's see. Let's get all the shuffling in here. And we're concentrating Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. All right, let's see, one card. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. So this card represents practical idealism. Finances um, and education are primary in your life right now, according to the card here. 
Your enthusiasm infects others and carries you into a state of mind where work and play become interchangeable. And you know what people say, if you have a job you love, you don't work a day in your life. Expect messages regarding money, contract negotiations, all forms of financial wheeling and dealing. So this is a great day financially to take action. Should be an active day in that field. And that's what we've got for you, Capricorn. Enjoy your day. Welcome, Aquarius. Let's look at the tarot deck, see what we have going on here for you. Okay, we've got shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And we're all set for Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Okay, a one card draw for your daily reading. We've got the Page of Cups. Not a bad card at all. If you're single and uncommitted, a new love affair is on its way. If you're married or already involved, expect a passionate renewal of your relationship. Synonymous with the Holy Grail, this ace is a symbol of love that is intrinsically spiritual, which connects us to something larger than ourselves. Think newness with this card. New love, new start, new appreciation for life, new fortune, new opportunities, joy, fertility, a spiritual awakening. A happy situation is about to start or is already in the beginning stages. Now, that sounds like the forecast for an absolutely delightful day. And I hope you enjoy it, Aquarius. That's all I got for you for now. Welcome Pisces, welcome to your daily tarot reading. And let's see what the tarot cards are going to show. Okay, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Pisces embedded in the cards, all right. So here we go, one card draw. So this card is saying that your life swells with abundance. You are a nurturer who takes in strays, eases other people's pain, and soothes their anxieties. Now this is for, this is a one day reading, right? So this may be a day that you es are especially destined to do this sort of thing if you aren't always anyway. Your openness and receptivity make you a good listener and an excellent counselor your home is warm, inviting, and filled with good food. It's also your sanctuary, your sacred place. The Empress often refers to your own mother or someone with maternal traits. So this could be a day that perhaps you're going to feel a little closer to that person if you are a man, if you are a woman. You may feel just more so that way and possibly also closer to another female with those traits. So you have a great day, Pisces. And that is the end of this reading. <music>